Yeah, there you go. There. Get this out of my face. Just for a moment. <coughs> Alrighty. Just give me a moment before I get started. talk about intelligence, common sense, memory, maybe a couple of other things, how they were portrayed by one or more characters in the television series The Big Bang Theory, most notoriously Sheldon Cooper over the course of the eight seasons that I've watched Sheldon does not display intelligence not until later on after the first five seasons what Sheldon does display is having a varied knowledge base or memory not intelligence intelligence is the acquisition of information memory is the recitation of information what Sheldon lacks most in all the eight seasons I've watched is imagination and no having a, a dream about uh, time traveling in H.G. Uh, Wells' time machine doesn't count. And no, a fantasy about being the Flash doesn't count. <clears throat> Imagination is is not fantasy. It's the application of information to a particular situation. And bam, that fucking rhymes. <laughs> Imagination isn't simply repeating a process that's already been done and is documented in a piece of paper or a YouTube video. It's coming up with original thoughts. Having a dream about a TV series or a book that you read, that's not original. Cosplaying as characters from another TV show or comic book is not original. It's not an imagination. It's copy and paste. However, late into uh, what was it? Season 7 and 8 Sheldon displays the barest whiff of a spark of intelligence because he starts learning how to actually socially interact with people he develops an amount of imagination because the concept, the very idea of social interaction was completely alien to him just eluded him completely. Common sense eluded him completely. Elseways, he wouldn't have uh, gotten all of those so-called ass beatings by the neighbor children. His own mother's words in the show, not mine. So very late, he starts to develop an imagination starts to develop some intelligence 
explain it. Not intelligence. Starts to develop. Oh, what was the other thing I said? Fuck's sake. <clears throat> and develop social skills. Now that it took so long in the series, just shows he was a moron. Someone incapable of learning. Someone lacking in intelligence, an idiot. Then he became less of that. Even if some people might call it morbid that he started experimenting on Penny. I just found it funny. But with all that being said, he still doesn't have uh, wisdom. He may be well learned, but that's not... That's not wisdom. It's not an imagination. I wonder how season 9 went. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, no worries. Don't bother telling me. I'll get to it whenever I get to it. As far as uh, as far as intelligence and, and imagination go, out of every one of the main characters in the show, up until see, season what seven and eight. I'd have to say Sheldon was just a complete idiot and a moron the whole time. Uh, let's see. What about Raj? He's a bit difficult to pin down with with those sorts of labels. He seemed to bounce back and forth a bit. Maybe his door swang both ways in the show. I don't fucking know. Yeah, that's a double entendre. Howard. What about him? he did make the effort to try and teach Sheldon something and failed because of Sheldon's stupidity and his lack of an imagination he wasn't able to get past that because of Sheldon's ego he didn't even make the effort to manipulate his ego to get around that to teach him Chinese either Sheldon just wanted to learn Chinese to cuss someone out, apparently. <coughs> hmm. It's so difficult to say where imagination was implied because I don't know whether the characters already knew certain things or not. Such as that Mars Rover incident where Howard snuck in and erased all the data that they had been there and because hacking into things they did previously with the bully and the Batleth. Hmm. 
very difficult to say whether they had a, an actual imagination or are they just running on a loop of their own program of stuff they already knew so they just stuck with it very difficult to say what's the other fellow with the glasses and, and the, the fucking allergies and 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 Penny I forgot his name in the show. <laughs> Classic nerd stereotype branching out into the dating scene and getting what a six, seven out of ten with the plebeian physical appearance rating. However, Penny did display some somewhat of an imagination. Well, if you're going with the stereotype and the trope, she displayed far more imagination than the rest of them combined. So as far as saying how much imagination for genuine original thought they all had, it's incredibly difficult because I would have to analyze and assess their base knowledge at the beginning of the, of the series and then see what they learned, how they learned it, and analyze every fucking last bit of data on the subject matter would be an intensive and excruciatingly tedious process. But with Sheldon Cooper, it was painfully obvious and hilarious to watch. So, yeah, that's it. Any more dragging out of this video would be gratuitous. Till next time, toodles.